Okay, in this short video, I'm going to show you how I climb on top the roof of my Airstream. Um, I do this for a couple of reasons. First of all, at the beginning of the year and at the end of the year to put a cover on my air conditioner if it's going to be in storage outside. And I also do it to check to make sure the caulking is good around my antennas and vents and things like that. And just to give an overall clean to the top of the roof. So I get on the roof for those reasons. But before we show you how I do it, I want to remind you this is just the way I do it. It may not be the right way to do. It may not be the way you should do it. Okay, and you got to make sure that it's right for you, that you're physically fit enough and, and ready to get on top of the Airstream. The other thing that's really important to note is it's a dry day. There's no dew or moisture or rain on the Airstream. It's had a chance to dry since the dew this morning. And because, especially because the roof will be really slippery. Remember, you're gonna be walking on a curved metal surface. And if there's kind of like funky stuff from the trees and things, um, that could make that even more slippery. That's also why I've got some good shoes. You can see I'm choosing to use my Vans, which have a non-marking surface on the bottom. Uh, and you certainly don't wanna do this with say flip-flops or other type of shoes like that. So, and Cindy's trying to smooth here. Um, so let's go ahead and get on top of the roof of the Airstream. So the way I do it is I utilize the rain gutter atop the main door. And that's kind of my starting point for getting up top of the Airstream. I'm going to take my extendable ladder here. I'm going to put it up against the rain gutter. in between the light. Now the important thing here that you wanna see, this is not done correctly because my ladder is actually sitting atop the tube of my zip -D awning. So I wanna move the ladder in to make sure when I apply force, I don't dent my zip -D awning. So I'm gonna move this in a little bit more. And that looks pretty good, right about there. So you can see it's sitting on the rain gutter but it's not on the zip awning. The next thing I'm gonna do is quickly take my small step ladder, extend that, and I'm gonna take a towel and just basically put it up against the rain guard just to provide some protection for it. So we'll take that guy, fold him up like this. That'll also give it a better surface so that it won't slide back and forth potentially. I'll do a final check. Looks like it's pretty good. And you'll notice that the ladder is a little bit more straight than it might be, say, if you were to climb up onto a roof. And again, that's just to protect the awning here, and we'll just be going a short distance anyway. So, once I've got that, put that aside, and I'm going to go ahead and climb up top. I'll go up top and then just slowly step onto the uh, roof of the Airstream. So. Step up. And over onto the roof of the Airstream. Okay, so we're atop the Airstream now. It's all dry. And the most important part once you're up here is to only walk along the framing of the Airstream. And you can figure out where the frames are by the rivets. And so sometimes that, it's kind of like a game of twister almost And once you're moving around up here because you don't want to walk where there's no support because that could give a nice little dent onto your Airstream. So you may do stuff like that as you're moving along your frame so that you can uh, get to the parts like your air conditioner that you need and kind of go from there. So that's the most important part. And once you're up here, again, it's just being careful, making sure that it's not slippery and assessing the uh, situation. Okay, and you can kind of see I'm up top here. I'm looking at my caulking, checking out my white roof. Maybe the condition of my, condition of my air 
conditioner cover and you can see I'm only walking where there are rivets. Okay, getting off is just a little bit more difficult than getting on, but it's basically the operation in reverse. So you'll come over to your ladder, making sure you're staying on the frames at all time, and then just kind of stepping onto it. And there you have it. That's how I get onto the roof of my Airstream to do cleaning and maintenance.